QR code GAMERGIRL whenever you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium. Also check out my UGC and real life merch which is linked below in the description. Thank you! Hello gamers! Today we are going to be looking at a map of what the entire sewer looks like as well as a guide to find all of the chests as well as the codes inside of the sewers. And so first of all we need to go over to the sewers and now I have a good route on how to get there so that I don't go and get lost because you guys will see in the video like where I'm going through like and finding all of the quests and completing them all. I struggle to find this place a lot more than I should have but if we go over here you can see here is the sewer entrance and so then if you go down here you can see it says I can't fly. So now if you go and pop up on the screen right now with the sewer map, you can see this is the map that I made, it's showing all of the areas in the sewer. So some of the pathways may not be as long as they look on there. Also I didn't count how many like little twists and turns there were on the lol thing, <laughs> so I'm just guessing if that's right or not. I actually have no idea, but it doesn't really matter anyway because that's literally just one pathway. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention this is inspired by it Slimy, as in like the map. <laughs> I would never had this idea on my own. You guys may know that Slimy's made maps for the Halloween mazes in the past and because of that I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to make a map for the sewers and hopefully it's helped you guys. But if we go from the entrance area, you guys can see over there there's the first right way and then over there there's the second one. And then if we go and continue here, so first of all I'm going to show you where the code door is. If we go over to the right and then we go forward a bit and then you go around this curve and then you can see there is a little spot over there. But then if we go straight you can see over here is where the code door is. Then you just go and climb down the ladder or you can go and fall and then you have to go and enter the code in order to get the first third quest completed. Which you guys will be able to see on my guide on how to complete all of the quests but this is just the bit for the sewers. So if we go back over here now now we're on like that first pathway that you can see I was on so if we go right a bit over here you can see over here there's like the curve and then that goes over there <laughs> okay let, let's go over to the next chest location why don't we go and do that so if we go straight and then we go and turn left over and we go and turn left over here and then I believe we go right and then we go along here and then we go left. Okay, there we go. I did not draw that bit properly. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm realising that now. Well, you, you know what, it's basically accurate, okay? But anyways, you can see here it says you find a magical chest with Sir Rat inside it just for you. And so if we go over here to accessories and we go and equip this, you can see that you actually go and become a rat. Wait, what? I thought, I thought you became the rat. You weren't just on the rat. Okay, I guess you're just on the rat then. <laughs> is the accessory supposed to be like this? I'm confused. My head is gone, but my torso isn't. I think it's because <laughs> of the accessories that I'm wearing. But if you go and take off your accessories and like hair and stuff, then you will just be the rat which is pretty cool look at how cool this rat looks i love that but let's go and take that off for now <laughs> if we go and remove item over here okay let's go back a bit i'm looking at the map to like figure out where i'm going so now i'm back on that like really really long path so if we go down over here and we go down a bit more there you can see the like little bit where it goes up slightly and then it goes to another separation point so if we go down this way, that just takes you to the lol, I'm pretty sure, if I'm looking at this right. Wait a minute. Am I lost on my own map? Okay, no, no. I figured out where I am. Yeah, if you go down there. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm confused myself now. No, but you're meant to go this way, okay? And then if you go down over here, you can see this is the next chest. I hope I didn't cause to confuse all of you. But yeah, here you go. You can see there's a chest with 2,021 diamonds inside just for you. And I just changed my camera angle. I do not like that. But if we go down over here, if we go up here and we like climb up this, you can see there's this vent area over here. There isn't really anything inside of it, so we can just go and leave there. But then other than that, there's only one more special area inside of this 
because of course there are also like the codes but the codes are just found randomly at the dead end so for example over here like there could be one on the wall i did also find one that was like not quite at the dead end i don't know what's where's the best place to show it if i oh no have i just got myself lost I hope I haven't. Okay, no, I know I am. But basically, just imagine, kind of like on this wall, there was one that was kind of like around here-ish, sort of, on like a straight wall. So it's possible that it might not be at a dead end, but it'll be around a dead end. Although that one was around the vent, so I feel like that one may just be a one-off. But anyways, if we go back here and we go up now and we go right. But now if we go over here, we're kind of on that last sort of like right pathway. So you can see there's this place and then that just goes up and then that goes to a dead end. But anyways, if we go down here and we go across and then we go down over here, you can see this is the exit for the area. Well, wait, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I just realized I drew the exit in the wrong place. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to fix that because that's actually a really, really big mistake. But yeah, over here, you can see there's this area they're able to go and climb up. It says, I feel my powers are coming back. And if you go and tap the top, yep, yeah, here we go. The lid will go and lift up. And oh gosh, I cannot see. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Okay, here we go. You can see my magical powers coming back. I cannot see. Wait, did I not just like go and remove the thing? Oh yeah, I did. Here we go. And so yeah, you can see now I'm out of there. Are you able to go back in? I think you are able to. So then you can go back in if you still need to find anything else. Oh, okay. Maybe you're not. <laughs> Never mind then, I guess. Oh wait. Oh, is this like another entrance? Oh, maybe it's not an exit then. Okay, I kind of lied then. I, I thought it was like one entrance, one exit, but it's not. But yeah, that is basically everything inside of this area. Other than that, you just need to go to the different dead ends and you have to find the codes. The codes that change for everyone on the different servers. So unfortunately, I can't say like it's this, 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 this. But when you find the codes, they'll have numbers next to them. So it'll be like... For me, it was like 1R2M, let me check, what were the other ones? It was 1R2B3M40, so that was like the things that I found. And so you go and put them into the order of the numbers. So I put the R first because it has one next to it and so on, so forth. And then you'll get the full code. And then all you have to do is go over to the code door. And then you need to go and put in the password when you're at the door. You guys will see this on my video about the quest so if you guys don't understand it like you'll see it on there so that will like explain it anyway this video is just to like help you all get through this mess of a sewer because it's kind of difficult to i can't lie it definitely it took me a while to make this map but anyways that is the end of the video let me know if this was helpful to you all and do make sure to look out for my video showing how to complete all of the quests inside of the new year's event but anyways that is the end of the video make sure you ring the bell to be notified you like and subscribe and thank you.